Hello, and welcome to Premier Lab Supplies' demonstration of the polishing lathe. The lathe seen here can be used to obtain high analytical accuracy and repeatability, retain the calibration curve via flat surface retention of the mold, minimize fuse bead sticking or cracking if the surface is uneven. Additionally, it can also uh, allow for a more intense XRF spectrum and repeatability and have the added benefit of extending the life of the platinum labor to reduce the refabrication costs. The polishing lathe seen here comes with the lathe in the background, oil, a couple of felt sticks, and uh, some grit paper and diamond paste, along with uh, custom made jigs. To start the polishing process, the labware first needs to be properly cleaned. To do this, the labware is immersed into a citric acid bath at about 20% strength, heating to 70 Celsius for about one hour. Some sample may need more length of time and possibly a more aggressive cleaning method as well. This can be done in a sonication bath as seen. Once finished, rinse the labware and begin the polishing process. The jig is assembled with the labware being placed inside. Once secured, sandpaper is oiled and used to begin the polishing process. The sandpaper is gently pressed towards the center from the outside. Once complete, the residual polishings are removed with a soft cleaning stick sprayed with oil. Apply the 8 micron diamond compound to a hard grinding stick coating with oil and if necessary stopping the lathe to apply. Ensure to grind from the center outwards, keeping even pressure applied, and once complete, remove the polishing compound with a soft cleaning stick. If necessary, repeat the process of applying more diamond compound until a mirror image can be seen. Once the 8 micron diamond compound has been fully applied, transfer to the 3 micron diamond compound. Apply the 3 micron diamond compound to a hard grinding stick, coating with oil, and if necessary, soften the lathe to apply. Again, ensure to Grind from the center outwards, keeping even pressure applied, and once complete, remove the polishing compound with a soft cleaning stick. If necessary, repeat the process of applying more three diamond compound until a mirror image can be seen. Once satisfied with the polishing process, remove the labware from the lathe and jig and wipe away any residual compound.